Hey guys, Hafu here, and I'm back with the Kobolds and Catacombs Arena card review. This is once again just for Arena. These valuations are not are not for constructed at all. Just for Arena. So please keep that in mind. And also, I've all um, I've altered the way that I've done the ratings because people have said that my rating system sucks. <laughs> So I've changed it to a five point rating system with one being the best, five being the worst, and it'll probably be have some like point fives in there as well. Alright, so let's get into it. So it's a four minute three three and I mean it will be insane if you can cast like Blessing of Kings on it, but yeah. It's probably just not gonna be good enough since the stats just don't carry it. So I give this a below average, four. Four for below average. Uh, Lesser Jasper Spellstone, all of these are pretty strong. Uh, one mana deal two is already like Arcane Shot or Smite. Uh, granted it's only to a minion, but it has the option of being upgraded if you have like Bash or Bite or something. So um, yeah, I would say that this is probably a two, it's good. Summon one copy of a friendly minion, and then it goes to summon two and summon three, I believe. I think this is, it's really, really expensive, but I think it's actually quite good. If you think about like how good um, Faceless Manipulator is, this is a little bit similar for a little bit more mana, and f you know, if you can get the overload off on it, it's actually pretty nuts. If you get like the double thing, I think it's just like kind of ridiculous. I actually think it's going to be pretty good. I'm going to rate this at... This one I feel like a lot of people will disagree with me, but I think this will be a 2.5. I actually really want to just give it a 2. I'll probably be wrong about this, but I'm going to say 2. I'm going to say 2! Final answer. I actually think it's insane. Guild Recruiter. Recruit a minion that costs 4 or less. So Recruit summons a random minion from your deck, uh, but it's within your own deck, and that costs 4 or less. So Let's just say that the average minion that you recruit will be a 3-3. Three, three. A 3-3 three, three is like high. So 2-4 and 3-3 three, three would be what? 5-7. It's quite good. What about a 2-4 and a 2-3? Or a 3-2? Eh, the 2-4 body is just not that great is the problem, right? If the stats were like a 3-3 three, three instead, I think it would be much stronger. But I don't think it's actually going to be that good because a 2-4 is just meh. So, for that reason, I'm going to give it a 3.5. I think it's slightly below average. And the first Disciple. So, it's a 6 mana 3 6 taunt. It adds the first seal to your hand, which is uh, summon a 2 2, and add the second seal, which is 5 mana. Summon a 3 3, and add the third seal. And then it's summon a 4 4, a 5 5, a 6 6, and then Azari the Devourer is a 10 mana destroy your opponent's deck. This just seems way too slow in Arena. I feel like it's just not good enough. And a 6 mana 3-6 is not the worst. I would say it's probably just probably just 4 below average. Like, this is more of a meme thing than anything, right? So, meh. Carnivorous Cube. Destroy a friendly minion, and the death rattle is summoned two copies of it. This is, I feel like this is insane. I mean, like, especially because the stats are good for a five mana creature. Um, and just getting two copies of it allows you to, I don't know, like, for death rattles it'll be good. Just for, like, anything it'll be good. This is, just seems insane to me. I would say this is, um, actually top tier. I would say this is, like, maybe a 1.5. It's like very close to being perfect. Dry Gulch Jailer, it's a 2 minute 1 1 Paladin card. Death Roll adds 3 Silver Hand Recruits to your hand. This just is good. Uh, it's a little slow, but like 3 mana 1 1s, it's quite good. And Paladin kind of like thrives on flooding, so yeah, I would say it's good. I'd say it's just 2. Wandering Monster, it's a Hunter's Secret. When an enemy attacks your hero, summon a 3 cost minion as a new target. Man, some RNG to do with this one, but uh, it seems pretty solid. It's harder for your opponents to start testing, so yeah, it's going to be pretty troll. 
it summons a three cost for you. That seems really good. I would say it's, I would say it's actually just maybe a two. I'd say it's just good. Aluneth, it's a mage weapon. At the end of your turn, draw three cards. This is a uh, way too slow in arena, and ooze is very, very, very powerful already. So this is just gonna be, I would say, close to unplayable. You get one charge of it, so six mana draw three, right? But six mana to draw three is already a little bit weak. So for that reason, I mean it's not weak, but it, like, actually, you guarantee you guarantee draw three cards. A sprint is seven mana draw four cards. A nourish is five mana draw three cards. This actually can't be that bad when you think about it that way, right? It draws at the end of your turn though, but that usually doesn't matter anyway because you're still drawing the cards. Hmm. I don't think it's actually that bad. I'd say it's actually pretty good. The weapon doesn't lose durability ever, but can you attack with it to lose it to lose durability? But you you can't attack unless it's been buffed. Oh man, I actually don't know how to think about this card. Oh no, I don't know how to think about this. I mean, it won't be that relevant in Arena because it's an Arena weapon. I'm oh, sorry, it's a Legendary. So, okay. Final answer. I will say it's a good card. I'm gonna say it's a 2. Unidentified Elixir. Give a minion plus 2 plus 2. Gains a bonus effect in your hand. And the bonus effects are either... Uh, lifesteal, plus two plus two in lifesteal, a uh, plus two plus two in divine shield, plus two plus two in summon a one one copy of it, or give a minion plus two plus two in death roll, return this minion to your hand. All of them are good, minus the lifesteal. I'd say the lifesteal is definitely the weakest one, but three mana plus two plus two is already pretty solid, and the additional um, boost is pretty nutty, especially if it's divine shield. So I'm going to say this is a really good card, especially in Priest, where, you know, when you buff, um, you often can use your hero power to heal it back up. So for those reasons, I'm going to put a uh, 2. 2 for Arena. Gather your party of a minion. This is uh, terrible in Arena because you have to draft, like, 1s and 2 drops, so the chance that you're going to draw something that's 6 mana or more is very low. So for those reasons, this is... um. 4.5. I would say it's even worse than below average because you really shouldn't be getting anything good. Mary and the Fox, 6-6 six, six, and a chest. Um, we've kind of seen this a few times. I think it's just a little bit too slow. It's not terrible, but it's kind of meh. I would say that this is an average card. It's just a 3. Crushing Walls, destroy your opponent's left and right most minions. It's a hunter spell. I think this is actually pretty insane. Um, it's just, oh, it's kind of like AoE as well, and you can often like trade things off in the middle and then kill stuff, like the kill the two remaining cards, so I will say that this is a two, it's good. Dragon Soul, it's a priest weapon, after you cast three spells in a turn, summon a 5-5 five, five dragon. Um, I think this is just a little too slow, it's hard to get like that many spells, especially in one turn and this legendary, so I'm gonna say that it's four, it's a below average card. And it shouldn't, maybe like a 4.5 even. But yeah, it shouldn't be that relevant in Arena since it's a legendary. Feral Gibber. After this minion attacks a hero, add a copy of it to your hand. This is uh, pretty bad. Because uh, one mana one ones just don't do enough in Arena. And um, I think it might snowball sometimes, but. You know, Rogue and Mage are some of the more prevalent classes in Arena. So, yeah, I think um, I think I would probably set this to, I'm going to just say 3.5. Just seems a little bit below average. Set and Betrayal, it's a Rogue Secret. That's new. When a minion attacks your hero, instead attacks one of its neighbors. So it won't proc if it's the only minion on the board. I think this is uh, pretty meh. I think there's only two secrets, right? It's just Cheat Death and Sudden Betrayal, if I believe. So it's going to be pretty easy to play around. And, um, yeah, I don't think it's very good. I think it's going to be pretty easy to play around. So I'll put this at, oh, three secrets. There's a third one. Okay, there's three secrets. Man, I don't know what the third one is. But I, I would say that this is like a 
average. Maybe this is just a three. Cheat death. When a friendly minion dies, return it to your hand. It costs two less. I think this is actually pretty decent. It'll be really strong with taunts. I think this is pretty good in general. Although, you're kind of just like paying two mana for another copy of a card. But I think that's still fine. I would say this is a uh, good. I think this is actually pretty good too. Duskbreaker. Um, if you're holding a dragon, deal three damage to all other minions. Uh, this is gonna be pretty insane. Like, the upside is just two nuts, right? So, um, because of that, I will give this a two. I mean, it is arena, so you don't guarantee. You definitely don't guarantee um, the battle cry. But if you can get it off, then it'll be like one. But because it's arena, I'll give it a two. The Rune Spear, uh, it's a shaman legendary weapon. After your hero attacks, discover a spell and cast it with random targets. So I don't think this is that good. Like Volcano would be pretty good, I suppose. But um, yeah, because it's random targets, it seems a little bit off. And I guess you can discover it. Like Bloodlust, Evolve, oh, uh, that new seven mana card, Spellstone or whatever. Is it weird that I don't think that this one is that bad? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna put this on a, like a 2.5. I actually don't think it's that bad. Yeah, like I think it's really expensive the first turn, but the next two turns is pretty nuts. So yeah, I'm actually gonna say it's a 2.5. I don't think it's that bad. Branching Paths, it's a druid spell. Choose twice, draw a card, give your minions one attack, and gain what six armor. So you can only choose each option once. And uh, so it's generally going to be draw a card and give your minions plus one attack for four mana. That seems pretty good. And it has that flexibility to gain armor if you need it. And yeah, I'd say that this is pretty decent. You can choose the same option twice. Oh, you can choose the same one twice. So it's four mana, draw two cards, give your minions two attack. Okay. Well, then this is quite good. I would say that this is good. A good card, a two. It doesn't seem that overpowered but it's very flexible and really good. Battle Cry and Death Rattle Recruit a Beast. This one's pretty insane because um, it's already an 8 minus 6-6. Six, six. So as long as you're getting like a 2 drop or better, it's already going to be worth it for the stats for the Battle Cry, let alone the Death Rattle. Um, so yeah, I would say that this is a good card. It's a 2. It's a solid 2, actually. Uh, the Upside X is actually even more insane, but yeah, I don't think it's going to be like, yeah. Maybe! Maybe it is just a 1.5. I'll put this at a 1.5 because, like, even on the low end of, like, drawing a 2 drop into a 2 drop for Death Rattle, it, it'll be already, like, insane. But yeah, I don't think it's gonna be amazing or top tier or auto pick because um, it just doesn't, like, close out games the way, like, a Bone Mare does. So yeah, I'll put this at 1.5. Lesser Mithril Spellstone. This is the Warrior Spellstone. And this one is summon one five five mithril what uh mithril golem summon two and summon three and it upgrades every time you get a wet or you equip a weapon and that's pretty easy to complete so for that reason i will give this a 1.5 i think this is going to be really really strong so yeah 1.5 for this one seven mana summon three five five seems insane seven mana summon two five fives is already pretty nuts and just equipping one weapon to upgrade it seems nutty to me uh twig of the world tree it's the druid weapon death rattle again 10 mana crystals this seems terrible in arena doesn't seem worth it at all it's too slow and yeah it just seems bad rubbing kobold uh, return one of your destroyed weapons in your hand. I mean, obviously this is only going to apply to weapon classes. Like on warrior and on rogue, shaman, hunter. Hmm. I think if it does return one of your weapons, then it's going to be quite good. Yeah, it won't be that good for rogue because your destroyed weapons include um, daggers, right? Like just your hero power. But on the other classes, if it does return a weapon, it's going to be quite good. This is kind of hard to evaluate since not every class in Arena has weapons. Uh, well, I guess they all do have legendaries now, but yeah, I would say that this is probably going to be good for, um, you know, warriors, shamans, hunters, granted that it procs and it's going to be just uh, 4.5 for everything else. 
Soul of the Gorgon. It's a neutral legendary. Choose a friendly minion, add a golden copy of it to your hand. So it's a 3 minute tutu and add a second copy of something on the board to your hand. That seems pretty nuts. Um, Arena is a valley game and it's a 3 minute tutu and it's a battle cry. So I say that this is a good card. It's a 2. Spiteful Summoner. Battle cry. Reveal a spell from your deck. Summon a random minion with the same cost. Um, this is going to be pretty nuts on like druid and mage, but um, a lot of classes run pretty cheap spells, so it'll be a lot weaker. Uh, it's a 6 mana 4-4, four, four, and then, you know, summon a 2 or 3 drop, probably, right? So it should be should be decent, even, even if it's just a 3 drop. You can kind of like compare it to Faceless Summoner. It's like that mage card, 6 mana 5-5, five, five, summon a random 3 drop. Um, and that should be like on the low end. So I'd say that this is actually quite good. I'd say that this is good to amazing depending on the class. Uh, I think on mage where you're going to be dra drafting a lot of sevens and sixes, uh, it's going to be really crazy. Um, I think if you can get at least five on this, it'll be really nuts. So I would say this is like a 1.5. Seeping Oozling, gain the death rattle of a random minion in your deck. So this is a hunter card. And most of the hunter death rolls are just pretty insane, so um, I'd say this is quite good. It's a 6 mana 5 4, uh, so the stats are actually fine, especially like they're kind of the stats that you do want on hunter more attack and less HP. And then the death roll portion is pretty, pretty neat. Um, I mean, high main comes to mind, obviously, but like even just um, kindly grandmother, uh, there's just like a lot. If you can get bone trick on this, oh man. So I would say that this is average. I'd say this is a three. Lone Champion. Battle Cry. If you control no other minions, gain Taunt and Divine Shield. This is just insane. It's a three minute, two, four Taunt Divine Shield. Uh, it's just insane, right? Um, you can always play it first before you play their minions. So um, the ball's always in your court. I think this is going to be amazing. I think this is going to be a one, easy one. Silver of Vanguard, Death Rattle, Recruit, and 8 cost minion. So the thing about this is you have to have the 8 cost minion in your deck, and not really sure how likely that is going to be in Arena. So for that reason, I'm going to put this at a 4, because it's just it's too hard to say that if you'll have the 8 drop in your deck, and even if you have 1, it's hard to say if you'll have, it, have drawn it already, right? So it's going to be... Yeah, below average to terrible, depending on if you have one or not. And even if you have one and it goes off, it's very slow. So, Raven Familiar. It's a mage 2 mana 2-2. Two, two. Reveal a spell in each deck. If yours costs more, draw it. I would say that this is going to be quite good. Mage spells are pretty expensive. And um, it's a 2 mana 2-2, two, two, which is not too expensive. Um, you get more information about your opponent's deck when you play it, and also like you have a very high chance of drawing. So I would say that this is a 2. It's good. Unidentified Maul gains a bonus effect in your hand, so um, the effects are either summon 2, 1-1 one, one, silver and hand recruits, so kind of like Vine Cleaver. Um, give your minions taunt, which is pretty bad. Give your minions plus 1 attack, which is pretty good and then give your minions divine shield which is absolutely nuts so um unfortunately there's the taunt one which is pretty bad but all the other ones are are nutty and yeah i would put this at a 1.5 though it would be a one if it um didn't have the taunt portion grumble world shaker six minus seven seven return your other minions to your hand that costs one this is insane I mean, this is just insane. I don't know how people don't think this is insane. This is a one. This is a one for me. Battle cry, return your other minions to your hand. They cost one. It's a six mana seven seven. It's an elemental, so it has like the elemental text. You can play all your battle cry minions again, and it makes them cost one. Uh, I mean, this is just this is just insane, right? It'll be really insane um, with evolve. It'll, it's gonna it's pretty insane with elemental synergy. It's just insane. This is just nuts. <laughs> one. One one one. Grizzled Guardian. Taunt. Recruit two minions that cost four or less. 
I feel like this is really bad. Um, the death rattle, it's an 8 mana 3-5 taunt, which is ascension, and then for 4 more mana, you get recruit 2 minions that cost 4 or less. That just seems way too slow to me. And, and um, yeah, it's just like a little bit too, yeah, too slow and too inconsistent because you're going to have a lot of 1s and 2s. King Togwaggle, swap decks with the opponent, give them a ransom spell to swap back. Um, this is just bad, right? It's too slow, it's an 8 mana 5 5, and uh, swapping decks doesn't actually do anything because you're drawing a card each time. Yeah, it's just meh. So, this is probably a 4, 4.5, it's just a meme card. Benevolent Jin. 3 mana 2 4 elemental, so elemental as hex is already pretty good. At the end of your turn, restore 3 health to your hero. This is fine. I think it's just average. It's a 3. Because um, it's an elemental text, but the stats are pretty weak, and health doesn't matter too, too much in arena. But it's like every turn, it kind of stacks up on itself. The problem is that, like, um, you don't really care too much about healing. And uh, in most cases, you don't care. So for those reasons, it's just average to me. 3. Temporis. It's a 7 mana 6 6 legendary. Battle cry, your opponent takes 2 turns, then you take 2 turns. This seems really troll and too slow. I'm not sure you can afford to add turn 7 to let your opponents um, have 2 turns. I feel like you'll just die. So I would say that this is 5. It's terrible or unplayable. Uh, Lesser Ruby, use Spellstone. Add 1 random mage spell. You play 2 elementals to upgrade, and then it becomes add 2 and then add 3. So it could be like a Kabbalist Tome for 2 mana, granted you play 4 elementals uh, while this is in your hand. Um, I would say that this is probably a good card, it's probably like 2.5. I don't think it's going to be that nuts because it's going to be quite hard to play 4 elementals while this is in your hand. I think it's possible to get 2 off, but I don't, I'm not really sure about 4, that just seems a bit too much. So I think it's like a little bit, I mean 2 mana to draw 2 is definitely good. Um, yeah, I, I think good to good to average, like I think 2 or 2.5 is fine. I think 2.5 is honestly what I'm, I'm leaning towards because uh, the, like playing 2 elemental to upgrade is just a lot. Explosive runes, after your opponent plays a minion, deal 6 damage to it and any access to their hero. So if, the, um, I mean the problem is that you generally do test with like low cost minions anyway. So it just like zaps away like um, like a one or two drop and, and it does some damage to face. I think it's not that great, right? If you kill a 3-2, they take four, basically it's decent. Okay, I think 2.5 is fine. Maybe a two. Six damage is quite a lot. Casting a fireball with uh, excess damage. Yeah, since it does go face, alright, I buy it. 2.5. Lesser Spellstone, summon a 2 2 spirit with taunt. Uh, every time you heal, it upgrades a little bit further. Um, summon a 2 2 spirit with taunt. Summon a 4 4 spirit with taunt. And then summon a 6 6 spirit with taunt. And you have to heal to upgrade it. So I'm not really sure how. Um, doable it is to heal. Obviously there's that 3 mana 2 4 card that we just looked at, the elemental that restores health at the end of each turn. Uh, so that's a nice combo. Like uh, a 2 mana 4 4 with taunt is already quite good for 2 mana. A 2 mana 6 6 taunt is pretty insane for 2. There is quite a bit of healing on Paladin. I'll put this at a 2. I think 2 is fine. Sonia Shadow Dancer. After a friendly minion dies, add a 1 1 copy of it to your hand. It costs 1. This is insane because you can play it and then you have initiative and you can just trade stuff off and make the 1 1 copies. And rogues tend to have a lot of really insane um, uh, battle cries and even death rattles. So um, this is really top tier. I'd say this is a 1 actually. Arcane Artificer. It's a 1 minute 1 2 elemental. A mage card. Whenever you cast a spell, gain armor equal to its cost. So one mana one two is fine. I mean, it's not amazing. Um, gaining the armor generally doesn't matter too much. It is an elemental, but it just seems like very average to me. I would put this at a three point five. It's just a little bit below average for arena. Arcane Tyrant. Cost zero if you've cast a spell that costs five or more this turn. Uh, this is going to be really really nuts on. 
anything that can pull this off. It's just a free f uh, five drop. Oh, sorry, it's a free four four. Um, so it'll be really nuts with like nourish or like I don't know Karakazam. Just a lot of things. Um, it's a lot of tempo. So I'm gonna say that this is a. I actually think this is a one because of how, it's just free. It's like so much tempo and it's free. In worst case, you're playing a five minute four four. So one, one from me. Grand Archivist, at the end at the end of your turn, cast a spell. Um, cast a spell from your deck. Target's chosen randomly. Um, so at first glance, I didn't think that this was that good. But then the more I look at it, the more I like it. Because the stats are fine. Uh, four attack is quite good. And seven health is a lot, actually. Um, and then... At the end of your turn, it casts once every turn. So granted that you have things that aren't targetable, that you're not just like blowing up your own board, I think this is actually going to be pretty good. I don't think it's going to... Like, it, it shouldn't backfire if you have just AoE and stuff. I don't think it removes the, the spell, right? It just casts it. Or does it actually remove it? Oh, it removes it from your deck. Huh. Okay, if it casts it from your deck, that's a little bit different. Hmm. Man, it's so hard to think about this. I think it's so hard to think about this. I still think it's going to be a good card. Is that weird? I think it's... Okay, I'm going to rate it at 2.5. I feel like it's going to be a good card. It's really hard to think about this one, though. Like, it's... I think it's going to be quite good. But I'm excited to be wrong. It seems like it can't be bad. It's an 8 minute 4 7. It's not even that bad. Anyway. Psychic Scream. Shuffle all minions into your opponent's deck. It's 7 mana... Um, so it's like close to Twisting Nether, but for Priest, it's just insane. I would say that this is a 1.5. I think a 1.5 is good. I don't think it's a 1. Other people are saying it's a 1 and that it's just going to be that crazy. I think it's going to be crazier in Constructed than it is in Arena because you are giving all the minions to, like, you're putting it into the Priest deck. So, oh sorry, to your opponent's deck. So, I don't think it's I don't think it's terrible. I think it's a 1.5. Yeah, all minions, including your own. So, like it's just like twisting nether, which destroys everything, but it just takes all those cards and puts into your minions deck. Oh, it doesn't proc death rattles. Oh sh, that's better than twisting nether. <laughs> huh. Okay. And it includes tokens, so they can uh draw like they can draw like a totem. For that turn. Okay, okay, this got better. Alright, I think they're right. I think people are right. It's a one. I, I, I misread this card. I thought it was like shuffle, like destroy everything and shuffle the cards into. But it's just shuffle all minions, which means it doesn't proc death rattles, which is insane. And it also like will kind of clog your opponent's draws because of tokens. So yeah, that's fair. Hoarding Dragon. It's a neutral. Give your opponent two coins. Um, this is quite good, I would say. Like, there was another card like this, right? A long time ago? I'm trying to think of what it was. Um, I think giving your opponent two coins is fine and uh, in Arena. Because if you like coin this out onto turn four, it's really, really hard to deal with. And you kind of, kind of like win the game off it. So I'm going to say that it's a two. I think it'll be good. It's a little awkward when you're just giving, like, when they can deal with it and they get the, like, the pre-nerfed interview, but, yeah, I still think it's quite good. Okay. Four mana, four, four. Shuffle three ambitions into your deck. When drawn, summon a four, four spider. So I think this is actually quite good. Uh, four mana, four, four is fine already, and the upside is insane, right? Every time you draw the spider, you actually draw the next card as well, right? I'm assuming it's going to be, like, the old ambush card, where it'll look like a... Ambush, draw a card, draw, summon a 4 for spider, and draw like the next card. So it's just like free 4 for spiders. So yeah, this is insane. I'm gonna say it's a uh, 1.5. It's almost perfect. <laughs> it's actually really close to being a 1. Maybe I should just give out 1s a little bit more. 1.5 though. Uh, Void Lord, Taunt, Death Rattle, Summon 3, 1-3s with Taunt. So 9 minute 3, 9, Death Rattle, Summon 1-3s, like 3 uh, Void Walkers. Uh, meh. I don't think it's that good. Six mana, three eight, right? For Ancient of Blossoms. For three more mana, you get one HP and three one threes taunts. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is a 2.5. I think it's all right. I think it's probably better than average for sure. But I don't think it's like top tier. It's just a little bit too, like if it were a four nine, it'd be insane. Uh, the death rattle is nice, but gets cleaned from AOE, and if it does get hard removed, then you're kind of screwed. So, yeah, let's do it. Uh, Hungry Etten, Taunt, Battlecry, Summoner, Random 2 cost minion for your opponent. This is pretty nuts. I would say that this is really top tier. Um, this is probably like a 1.5, because you generally can just clear off the 2 drop with the with the rest of your turn, right? Like with the rest of your board, or like a spell. Um, obviously there's some low rolls, like Stubborn Gastropod, or like a Dirty Rat. Um, but for the most part, it should be fine. It should be totally fine. So, uh, yeah, I think this is a 1.5. 1.5. Call to arms, recruit three minions that cost two or less. This seems insane. Um, this is just super good. Like, two or less, uh, four mana summon three is pretty, pretty nutty, especially because it thins your deck. And yeah, I would say that this is a one. I actually think this is just a one, because, yeah, it's just nuts. Uh, Lanessa, Lanessa Sun Sorrow. 7 mana 1 1, battle cry, cast each spell you cast on your minions this game on this one. Um, obviously, it'll just depend on how many buffs you end up getting in Arena. Um, they've kind of tuned how much, how many like spike ridge you can get. So, back when they didn't tune it, a lot of people would have like three spike ridge every draft. Uh, but now it feels like you maybe get one, maybe get a Kings, you know, maybe get a Dinosize, maybe. They're all maybes. If you get Steed in like one other spell, it's, it already feels worth it, but um, yeah, it's it's really hard to rate stuff like this because you don't really know how many, how much like value per deck you're gonna get. So I would say on average it'll be below average. I would say it's generally gonna be a four, but obviously if you just like drafted the nuts where you're just literally kings, kings, steeds, freaking, you know, <laughs> all that stuff, then it's gonna be nutty. But, um, yeah, pretty unlikely. Cobalt Hermit, 2 minute 1 1, choose a basic totem and summon it. Um, I like this card a lot. Um, I think it's still not that amazing. It's probably still gonna be, uh, like a 2.5, a little bit above average. Um, it's guaranteed spell power totem, though, which is awesome. So, um, and it's still like a turn 2 play, uh, emergency taunt. Uh, I would probably say that this is a 2.5. Um, it is guaranteed spell power totem, which is nice. And actually, you can play a spell power totem and then and then choose a second spell power totem, right? Which makes it even better. Maybe this is a two. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a two. As someone who plays shaman a lot, I think this is actually nuts because once you think about it, like if you get a spell power totem and then you play this, and you get the second spell power totem and then you play maelstrom, oh. Oh man, I don't know. Ah, I want to say two. <laughs> Maybe I'm overvaluing it. Primal Talismans. Give your minions death rattle summon a random basic totem. This card sucks. I don't really understand the point of this. So yeah, totems are generally not that great in arena. So poop. 4.5. Three minute do nothing almost. Windshear Stormcaller. It's a it's a an epic. 5 minute 5 5, if you control all 4 basic totems, summon Alakir the Windlord. Obviously, it goes with the last card. It goes with these cards that we just saw. Uh, this card is pretty nuts. Um, if you do get it off, you're probably not going to get off that often. I'm going to say it's just a 2. It's uh, maybe like a 2.5 because like you're not going to get it off. But if you do, you're a god. Um, <laughs> um, like, who lets to Shaman control? Who lets shamans just like have a bunch of totems, right? But it's a five minute five five, which is already average, so two point five seems fine. Two minute two four taunt deal two damage to your hero. Uh that's really good. It's a two minute two four, which is nuts. It trades well with two threes, trades well against three twos, so it's just like good. And it's a taunt, which makes it annoying. And it's a demon, so it procs demon fire and all that stuff. Uh, the battle cry is not that bad. It's like old flame imp. <laughs> so um. Yeah, it's it's quite good. I'd say that this is a 1.5. It is very good. Very, very good. Cobalt Librarian. 1 mana 2 1 draw card. It's a battle cry on the draw card. And DLT to your hero. This is also a 1.5. 
The stats are good, the battle cry is insane, and uh, deal 2 damage to your hero is generally super fun, especially like in the earlier stages of the game. So yeah, 1.5. Lesser Amethyst Spellstone, so this one is take damage from your cards to upgrade, which we saw that there's already two new ones that do that. So it's it upgrades into deal 5 damage to a minion and then deal 7 damage to a minion and it's lifesteal. So the fact that it's lifesteal makes it really nuts, um, but yeah, it should be very very easy to proc, right? So uh, for that reason, 4 mana deal 7 seems absurd. I, I would say this is a... I say this is actually like amazing. I'd say this is a a one. <laughs> this one seems like really nuts to me uh, because it's like one of the easiest ones to pull off and lifesteal is like that swing of dealing seven gain seven just seems absurd to me. Cataclysm! Destroy all minions, discard your hand. Uh, yeah this is good because you just have um, your hero power to refill your hand and I guess it's a little awkward because you can't like play it, then tap, then play something unless it's turn 10, you like Cataclysm, then you tap, then you... yeah, it's... okay, maybe it's... because mm. it's only 4 mana, but you do like... Y usually like when you have like a Dragonfire Potion or something, you kill everything, you can still play a 4 drop, but because you've discarded your whole hand, I'm not actually sure how to think about this. I'm not really sure how to think about this. Yeah, this doesn't seem that good once you think about it that way, right? It's nice in top deck wars, but it seems very situational because you don't really want to give away your entire uh, hand. We're talking arena, right? We're talking arena here. So for that reason, I will give this a 4. It's very weird putting a card like this as, at a 4, but it just seems like a dead card. Like, really hard to use. Unstable Evolution. I saw this card. I love this card. Uh, it's a one mana epic. Transform a friendly minion into one that costs one more repeatable this turn. Um, yeah, you can just keep doing it. You can just keep doing it for one mana as much as you want. So you can turn a one drop into a nine drop or, you know, whatever. Seems super fun, dude. I love this card. <laughs> I think it's a, I think it's a one. I could be a little biased here, but yeah, I mean, you just keep going. You can always risk it. Um, risk it for the biscuit. I'm gonna say that it's a one. And, you know, I could be a little biased. A little, a little biased. I might, like, evolve a little bit, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Skull of the Menari. So someone just told me that, uh, actually the offering rate on legendary weapons is, like, seven times. So, <laughs> we're actually gonna see this in Arena. Uh, at the start of your turn, summon a demon from your hand. Uh, this is going to be really nuts if you draft that Warlock Epic Taunt thing. I mean, it just depends how many of the new cards and how that offering works, right? Um, so it's it's Summon, which means you don't have to play it, which means stuff like Pit Lord just gets better, like Doom Guard and stuff. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this works, but uh, yeah, because you have to have this in your hand and the demons in your hand to get value, and ooze just kind of wrecks you. It's really hard to think about these for me. Like, it's a lot like the Death Knights. I, I know I was very, very off about Death Knight cards. I actually think this one's pretty good. I'm gonna say this is a good card. It's a two. Maybe I'm overrating these. Oh man, I feel like I'm gonna be wrong either way on how I rate them. But yeah, I think it's actually gonna be a good card, especially with the fact that they released that new 9 mana 3 9, right? So I think in this expansion it'll be quite good. Uh, Geo Sculptor, yep, it's a warrior legendary, 8 mana, 4, 8. At the end of your turn, summon a random minion with cost equal to your armor, up to 10. So actually, they introduce a lot more warrior armor gaining cards, um, so it shouldn't just be 2. And this is at the end of every turn, right? So it's not just a battle cry, it's just at the end of your turn. Um, so I think for those reasons, it's actually going to be quite good. I'm gonna say it's a two! I'm gonna be wrong, probably, but I'm still gonna put a two for now. This is arena, you shouldn't have ten armor, but it's very possible to gain at least some, and because it's at the end of your turn, like, even summoning a two drop is pretty good. Uh, deck of Wonders, it's a mage, five minute spell, shuffle five scrolls into your deck when drawn, cast a random spell. Very freaking, I don't know, how, how are you supposed to rate this? Like, I don't know. Are you lucky? Like, Jesus Christ, dude. No idea. I have no idea how to think about this. 
Like, actually no idea how to think about this card. What are you supposed to, how are you supposed to, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to think about this at all. I'm just gonna say, three. Because luck is average, right? So, I don't know, it's just, I don't know. Who knows? Let me know. <laughs> Leland Manipulator. Battle cry. If you're holding any cards that didn't start in your deck, reduce their cost by two. It's a four minute, four five. It's a Yeti that has elemental text. It's insane. It's insane. Um, especially with all the like randomly generated spells. That's just pretty nuts. So this is a one. One from me. Because the stats are already good. And the battle cry is nuts. Just letting you ramp that much is, uh, just seems insane to me. For a bulg moss binder, 5 minute 1 1, transform a friendly minion into a 6 6 elemental. Transform, which means it destroys death rattles and like stuff like that. It just like completely changes it, right? It's kind of how evolve works. Um, it's a transform. This is gonna be fun with evolve. I can tell you that, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think it's probably gonna be pretty fine. I don't know. I actually really don't know how to think about this. Probably like a two. Seems good. It's seven seven stats, right? But it's not really seven seven stats because it requires you to have a minion. But you can like trade with a minion first and then transform it. You can also like do this after you molt lurker. You molt lurker their minion and then you transform your molt lurker into a six six. Oh, so sick. But yeah, like when I think about it, it's just really really weird to, <laughs> to consider. I feel like it'll be better on like Shaman and Paladin where you have like a guaranteed target and it'll be a little bit worse on classes that are kind of struggling to get the board regardless, right? Because you don't just want to give up your minion. So I'm gonna say it's a 2.5. 2.5 final answer. Uh, Elven minst Minstrel. Combo. Draw two minions from your deck. That's nuts. <laughs> this is insane. This is a one. Like, rogues don't need this at all. It's a 4 mana 3 2 that draws cards when you combo. Like, what? It's what? The frick? This is insane. Draw 2 is insane, and it has the body. Like, oh man, that's so good. It's actually so good. It's actually just a 1. Alright, uh, evasion. It's the last secret. 2 mana secret. After your hero takes damage, become immune this turn. Uh. No, I don't like this card. This is not that good in arena. Um. Yeah. No, I don't like. I don't like. I don't like it. If it was immune that turn, because it's, it's only on your opponent's turn, right? On your turn, it's a like different turn. It's not like you're immune. So, yeah, I would say this is a 4.5. It's just like almost unplayable. It just seems bad. Unidentified shield. Gain 5 armor. Gains a bonus effect in your hand. 6 mana is a... Uh, Gain 5 armor, gain 10 more armor, gain 5 armor, deal 5 damage, wow. Gain 5 armor, summon a 5 of golem, and gain 5 armor, equip a 5-2 weapon. So, it's really good unless it's really bad. <laughs> so it's gain 5, deal 5, which is good. Oh, that's a good, yeah, I'd say it's pretty good. I think it's pretty decent. Gain 5, summon a 5-5. Five, five. That's, that's good. It's good. Shield Maiden. Or it's gain 5 armor, equip an Arcanite. That's good, right? It's Arcanite, and for 1 more mana you get Ironhide. And then, or it's gain 15 armor, which is just trash. Like, literally trash. So, yeah. Man, I'm gonna be so salty when I play this stupid card, and I get it as the armor one. God, it's so bad! Gaining that much armor is so bad, dude. It's actually so bad. Frick, I would say it's average <laughs> because cause you can low roll and just lose the game off it, right? Like, man, because of that, because of the tower shield plus 10 thing, like, that's just awful. So you have one awful draw, 25% of the time it's awful, and then the rest of the time it's like either insane or good. So I would say it's just average. <laughs> Cause like I really don't like playing game. Oh sorry, I don't playing card. I don't blah 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 blah. I don't like playing cards that are just like terrible or amazing. Like I don't like that range. So yeah, reckless flurry. Spend all your armor. Deal that much damage to all minions. Okay, I mean I guess it's that combo. You have reckless flurry set with tower shield. Um, that'll be quite good. But 
still seems weird. And usually doing five is enough. Um, I think this card's actually quite good, so I'm gonna rate this at a 1.5. I think this is actually nuts, because there's actually another card that gives you armor, right? There's like a few more cards that give you armor, like a two minute tutu or something that's coming up. Um, so if you can't get any combo that gives you armor, then um, this is like an AoE that uses your armor. Like that's nuts. Warriors need this. Uh, it'll be really crazy in arena. So 1.5. Valanir, Death Rattle. It's um, give a minion in your hand plus four plus two. When it dies, re-equip this. Paladin. Give a minion in your hand plus four plus two. When it dies, re-equip this. Holy crap, that's insane. This seems insane. When it dies, re-equip this. That's insane, right? That's just I'm gonna just, like, keep reading this. This is just insane. This is a one. How the hell? It's just infinite value, and it re-equips it for free. That's that seems like a one. Holy holy cow! Uh, Lesser Emerald Spellstone is the Hunter one. Summon two, three three wolves. Play a secret to upgrade. Um, and when it upgrades, summon three wolves and summon four wolves. Yeah, I mean it's good. Five minutes summon two three threes is already fine. It's already average, and then the upside is just nuts. So. Um, I'm gonna put this at a 1.5. 1.5. Last Iron Axe Spellstone. Jesus, Spellstones, dude. Uh, it's a rogue one. Destroy one random enemy minion. Play three Death Rattle cards to upgrade. S destroy up to two random enemy minions and then destroy up to three. You're not gonna really play that many Death Rattle cards as a rogue. So, yeah. I mean, like, five and a destroy one enemy minion is fine. It's like, oh, a sabotage kind of, kind of, um... So I think this is a three. I think this is just a three. I don't think like you're gonna really proc this in arena. So destroying one random enemy minion, it just seems like so almost impossible to upgrade. I'm just gonna put it at three. So yeah. Possessed lackey, death rattle, recruit a demon. Uh, this is pretty nuts because most demons are gonna be heavier, especially. Uh, oh, actually, it's a death rattle. Hmm. Wow, there's a lot of bad five stat stat cards. Okay, I don't think this is as good anymore, because it's the death rattle, so it's just a bit too slow, right? As a de as a battle cry, it's a little bit different. As a death rattle, it's just a five minute two two that, that can get dealt with, or like push and madness, silence, etc. Uh, for that reason, I will give it a three point five, maybe a four. I uh, four final answer. So yeah, four final answer. Ixlid Fungal Lord. It's a Druid Legendary. After you play a minion, summon a copy of it. After you play a minion, summon a copy of it. That's nuts. Well, that's insane. Is this not insane? This is insane, right? Am I crazy? Why are you guys saying 234? This is a 1. <laughs> this is not a 1. Wait, what? This is insane. I mean, even if you play this with like a 2 drop, it seems insane. Am I crazy? It's a 5 mana card. It's 5 mana for a 2-4. So as long as you're playing anything that costs like... It's, it's, okay. So to think about it this way. Let, let's, let's, say it, let's say it this way. Okay. A 5 and a 5-5 five five is, is average, right? Would you agree that a 5 and a 5-5 five five is average? So for this to be a 5 and a 5-5, five five, you pretty much need a 3-1. I mean, 3-1s are terrible. So let's just say like a 3-2, right? If you play a 2-4 and a 3-2 for 5 mana, are you happy? I would say that's hap I, th I would say that's good, right? So for this to get be worth it already, you just have to play w like one 2 drop, right? To make it just like meh. To, to make it like average. And that's just like the bare minimum of like, okay, I played, I played one 2 drop with this card and they couldn't deal with it and now I just win the game. Like... That already seems insane. I don't know. I think I think it's I think it's gonna be insane. I'm I'm saying that this is actually a one because this will close out games. Like yeah, I think this will actually close out games. And um, yeah, just the fact that you just need to play one two drop to uh, make up for the value. I don't think that's that difficult. So yeah, I'm gonna put this at a one. Ironwood Golem taunt can only attack if you have three or more armor. No one cares if you can attack. It's a taunt. It's like the tar creeper. No one cares. Four and three six. Yeah, it's a fen creeper that can only attack if you have three armors. Sick, dude. This is good. This is great. This is a this is a two. It's a two for me. 
It's um like with taunts, you don't care if it can attack or not. You almost never care if it can attack or not. So yeah, sick. It's a two. Dragon color Alana. It's a nine mana three three. Summon a five five dragon for each spell you cast this game that costs five or more. What face, dude? <laughs> oh my god. What is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? Why? No. I hate mages. I hate mages. <laughs> I hate mages. <laughs> oh, this seems really good, right? Like, this has to be good. This must be good. So, so if you summon one, then it's not really worth. If you summon two, then it's super worth. And anything, like, two is insane. And any more than that is, like, freaking absurd. How many spells cost more than five? Um, Kabbalah's Tome, Blizzard, Meteor, Flame Strike, Firelands Portal. Great arcane missiles, glacial mysteries, lol. Yeah, it's a battle cry, so that seems insane. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say easy 1.5 because you should definitely have at least two spells. Pyro, right? I forgot Pyro. Like, this seems insane. I'm gonna say at least, yeah, okay. Dragon's Fury, oh, look, another one. Reveal a spell from your deck, deal damage equal to its cost to all minions. That seems really good, right? So let's say you get Frostbolt. Two mana deal to all. Let's say you hit Arcane Intellect, three damage. Jesus. <laughs> it's really hard to think about this card. Uh, I think it'll still be really good though, because like, just removal is good. I'm gonna say it's a 1.5. 1.5. Dragon Hatcher, at the end of your turn, recruit a dragon. This is terrible. Uh, like, recruit means it has to be within your deck, and you can't really guarantee that kind of value in um, Arena, so this is 4.5. Twilight's Call. Summon 1-1 one, one copies of two friendly death rattle minions that died this game. That's insane. Because, oh, friendly death rattles. Okay, okay. Still seems pretty insane, does it not? Granted, you have the death rattle cards. It'll be at least a 1.5. If you don't have, if you only have, like, how many death rattles do you need to run for this to be worth? Probably, like, four. If I have four death rattle cards, I would play this, right? Would I? I would definitely play this. Uh, so what if, what if I only had one... Friendly death roll minion that would die. It's not too slow. Three mana summon two when ones is not too slow. Especially if they have death rattles. Yeah, uh, the statue, of course. It will only summon one, one, one. I see. Bone Drake. Yeah, I mean, this is hard to. It's so hard to evaluate because arena decks are so, like, volatile. Okay, cool. Well, I, I would say that if, you, if I have four death rolls in a pre stack, I would draft this pretty highly, and it would be, like, a two. But if I don't, then obviously it's bad, because <laughs> then it doesn't do anything. Don't really know how to rate cards like that. Oaken summons. Gain six armor. Recruit a minion that costs four or less. I think it's pretty bad, right? Like, it is draw a card. It technically thins your deck, but gaining six armor seems bad. I mean, there are some things that, uh, you know, gaining armor matters for, like, the spellstone and also the, the a taunt minion that can't attack. But, yeah. Recruiting a minion that costs four or less, you're generally gonna get like a two or three drop, right? You're very rarely gonna get a four drop, so it seems kind of bad. I'd say this is a four. I don't think I would play it. Crystal Lion Divine Shield costs one less for each silver hand recruit you control. I mean, this with the amount of like s recruit silver hands, this seems insane. Six mana five five Divine Shields is already fine to be honest. Like, it's fine to play that card, and this uh, with the um additional like upside with vine cleaver and that new card like if you can summon the recruits this is actually nuts i would say this is a i would say this is a 1.5 i actually think it's really really crazy because i i honestly think you would play a six minute five five divine shield already so yeah 1.5 uh maybe a one maybe this is actually just a one i'm gonna change my mind and say this is a one this is just like insane like think about it like sunwalker is a six minute four five taunt divine shield Granted, the taunt is what makes it ridiculous, but this is a 6 minute 5 half divine shield with a huge upside, so yeah, I'm actually gonna change my mind and say that this is a 1. King's Bane, Death Rattle, sh shuffle, shuffle this into your deck. It keeps any enchantments. Is this a neutral? Or it's a rogue? So if you can Envenom Poison this... I don't, I still don't think it's that good. Like, it, it will be a... You just hold it till you get, like, um... Envenom or... Well, you stuff it into your deck, so I don't think it's gonna be that good. I'm gonna say it's an uh, average 
I'm gonna say it's average, like it's three. Like and Venom Poison, Deadly Poison, those are the two enchantments you care about, right? Um yeah, so like let's say I uh, deadly poison it and then it dies, then this would be a one mana three three weapon when I draw it. And then like in Venom it's, but but you're always uh drawing it. So like it's not like it goes back to your hand, it goes back to your deck, which means you don't necessarily draw it again. I'm gonna say it's average. I'm gonna say three. Blade of Gauntlet, it's a warrior card. Has attack equal to your armor. <gasps> Can't attack heroes though, what face? <laughs> How do I think about this card? So worst case it's a two two. No, worst case is a zero, because you have to armor up first. I still think it's bad. I think it's a four in arena, because it's kind of hard to get that armor, right? It just seems bad. Greedy Sprite. Death Rattle, gain an empty mana crystal. I don't think it's that good. It's a little bit too slow. Ah! Oh! But if they kill it, then you have five mana on two. Huh. No, it's actually quite good. Delayed ramp. No, because you kind of encourage them to kill it, but then you get the crystal, right? It's a three, one. And you get five mana. All right, all right. Let's put this at a two point five. I'm gonna say two point five. The stats aren't that good, but if if you're encouraging your opponent to kill it and then you ramp like that, it's not bad at all. Three one stat line isn't that bad. To my side, XD. This is just bad, right? Like what? A uh, four point five. It's technically not a five because it's not unplayable because it can attack because it's a it's a six mana animal companion. So a six mana and a milk companion is four point five. Yeah. All right. Void Ripper. Swap the attack and health of all other minions. Uh. So this is like confused, right? But with a demon. Um. I like this card. I like this card a lot. Uh. You 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 can do a lot of cool things with it. So um. It's a three mana three three, which means it's already average. And then the upside is probably like good. I would say it's a good card. It's a two because I think you can you can use the upside, right? Murmuring Elemental, Battle Cry. Your next Battle Cry of this turn triggers twice. That's insane. It's a Shaman card? I like it a lot. Oh my god, you can Murmuring this? Oh, but it's this turn. But you can Murmuring, like, Discover? Oh, I think this is so good. I don't even know what it's going to be good with. I just know it's going to be good. I think this is going to be great. This is probably a 2. I would say this is a 2. And it's an Elemental. Probably, probably better than a 2, huh? Damn. I'm so excited for this, man. Uh, bark skin. Give it a minion plus three health, gain three armor. This is, this is good, right? Wait, this is a this is great. Dare I say this is amazing? This is what? What for one mana you get a free trade? Oh, that's insane. I'm gonna say this is a one. How are you guys giving it a two or a three? This seems insane to me. It's one mana. Give a minion plus three. I think this is actually just broken in arena. No, I think plus three health is insane. I'm gonna, I'm gonna vet on this, or I will bet on this one that this is a one. Give a minion three health and you gain three armor. It's a worse priest spell card. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You just want to trade with it once, dude. And you're not a priest. Okay, I will bet that this is a one. I will bet that this is a one. All right. Mark my words, Ed. You can, you can edit whatever you want into this. Moonbi, the now my level. You gotta have size, uh, reach, length. You gotta have some attributes. If you grow me in any way equal to me, I'm gonna rip your whole head off, and that's it. I tell her every time. I think this is gonna be a one. On my next card review, I will see if I'm right or not. But this just seems absurd to me. Astral Tiger. Okay, maybe it's not a one. Maybe it's like a 1.5. But regardless, 1.5. It's at it's at least a 1.5. Like one one is really like Bone Mare in Primordial Drink and like Scale Bane, right? And then like 1.5s are like like death speaker like really freaking good cards this is a really this is like death speaker value okay 1.5 1.5 anyway <laughs> uh astral tiger shuffle a copy of this minion into your deck four minute three fives fine infinite value infinite fours i mean it doesn't seem that good it doesn't seem that bad do you really want more fours in your deck not really not really right like i don't know like do i even want the death rattle to go off does it keep buffs? No, I don't think so. Yo, I don't I don't know about this one. I think it's just three, right? Like it's just play it play it for stats. Three is fine. Flanking strike, deal three damage to a minion, summon a three three wolf. That's insane. This is a one point five? Is it a one? Is it a one? Okay, it might be a one. 
It actually might be one because uh, when you think about it, like, think about how good um, Fire Plume Phoenix is. Is that what it's called? Fire Plume Phoenix? It's, Fire Plume Phoenix is arguably one of the best four drops, right? And this is better than that. So it's just a one, right? Cool. All right. Good talk. It's just a one. Uh, Cave Hydra. Three minute, two, four. Also damage the minions next to whomever this attacks. Um, I mean, three minute, two, four is average. The upside of it is fine. Probably like a two? Probably a two. I'd say a two. And it's a beast, yeah. I'd say two. Rock Delar! <laughs> Battle cry. It's a hunter weapon. If your deck has no minions, fill your hand with hunter spells. Uh, I mean, what? <laughs> what the, hello? <laughs> this thing on? <laughs> um, I mean, it can't be that bad, right? Because like, it can go face. Anything that can go face is fine. Like, don't look at, don't look at the, don't look at the battle cry. Let's just pretend the battle cry doesn't exist. It's a seven and a four two weapon. Would you play this card on hunter? You're a hunter. Remember that we're a hunter. Hello. H hey, hello. We are a hunter. So for nine mana, you're doing six damage to face. That's pretty good. So it can't be bad, <laughs> right? Uh, if we ignore the text, like seven mana gladiator's bow, you often just go face with that gladiator's bow, right? So let's say it's a little bit worse than that. I'd still say it's a three. I'm gonna say it's a three because we are a hunter. Anyway, yeah. Uh, for nine minute, it's six because it's four and then you hear power. So, cool. One minute, one three. I mean, while attacking. So this is just a uh, really good, right? It's you. You have a ping. Wait, I think this is a. Dude, I love this card. Do you guys know how much I like Light's Justice? Do you guys know how much I like Light's Justice? Um, this is a Light's Justice for Hunter. I'd say this is a 1.5. Like, pinging on Hunter is insane, and you actually don't take uh, damage, so it's really good. I think your hero is immune, right? Shifting scroll. Each turn this is in your hand, transform it into a random mage spell. Uh... This is insane. I think it's insane. I mean, like, most mage spells are good, so it's probably just a... It's probably a 2, because you can just hold it forever. A 2 or 1.5. Like, obviously you don't know. Maybe you're just unlucky and you get Glacial, sh glacial Shroud, or what is it? Glacial Mysteries every freaking time. I think this will be a... I think this will be a 2. It'll just be good, because mage spells are good, and, um... Yeah. Uh, Sewer Crawler. 3 mana 1-1, one, one, Battle Card Giant, Summon a 2-3 Giant Rat. So it's just like the opposite of Razorfin Hunter. It's just a Razorfin Hunter, which is just a little bit worse than a uh, three. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good with that new Shaman card, right? The Battle Cry. But uh, yeah, it's a four. It's below average. Raz Razorfin Hunter is below average, so I, okay. Scorpomatic. Destroy a minion with one or less attack. Um, it's a mech. Whoa. Mechs still exist. XD. Wow, that's insane for like Acolyte of Pain. I don't think they printed enough cards that have a uh, one or zero attack though, right? Like, there's not there's not enough cards that I've seen that are like one one attack. So, but it's a two minute one two probably deal one or two damage. Do I play that card? There's just not that many. I'd say this this is a three because it's just too situational. I don't think they printed enough. So I'm gonna put this at a three. Wax Elemental, Taunt, Divine Shield, oh, I mean, here's one. Taunt, Divine Shield, zero two. I mean, it's an Elemental, it has Elemental text. I think this will be a three. It will be average because um, of what it's doing. Like, obviously it's not gonna fight for the board, but it's just a stall, right? So I think it's gonna be just a three in Arena because uh, Taunt, Divine Shield is really annoying for almost everything. And it also has elemental text. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a three. Ebon Dragonsmith. It's a four and a three four dragon. Reduce the cost of a random weapon in your hand by two. So um, for weapon classes, I would say that this is probably a 
three. <laughs> because you have to have the weapon in your hand too. And it's a four mana three four, which is meh. It's a dragon, but what does that really do? The stats are fine. I think Gorilla Bot. Oh my god, Gorilla Bot, that's a card I haven't thought of. But yeah, I'd say it's just a three. And it's obviously like a four for on uh, for non weapon classes. Cros corrosive sledge, destroy your opponent's weapon. One point five. It's a five and a five five with an upside. With a huge upside, seeing as they've introduced like ten weapons. So yeah, I would say this is a one point five. Pretty easy. Stone skin basilisk, divine shield poisonous. This is insane. This is a this is a one point five. It's just really annoying. It's a divine shield poisonous. Oh, the scorpion can eat this. That's quite good. The scor scorpomatic or whatever the hell. So this is actually quite good. I would say it's a one point five. Yeah. It's very, very strong. Green Jelly. At the end of your turn, summon a 1-2 ooze with Taunt. So this is forever, right? At the end of your turn. So it's a 3 mana 4, 5 technically? For 5, and it can keep going. And it has Taunt, so it's like a mini hogger. It's like a mini hogger. 2.5? It's good when you're ahead, it's bad when you're behind. Dragon Slayer. Deal 6 damage to a dragon. Oh! I saw, um, I saw Firebat. I saw Firebat talk about this card, and he said that it's just a bad answer. These are bad answers to like problems that are within the game, and I agree that this and like Laka Crawler are just not good answers. Uh, so for 3 minute 4 3 is already good, right? Um, and then the upside is just nuts. So uh, for Arena, I would say 1.5 because it doesn't always proc, but you're going to be drafting it quite, quite often because if it does proc, you just win the game. Um, so 1.5 is good, but like, man, it just, I, I really don't like cards like this because you get blown out randomly. Like, it's not like you can stop drafting Scalebane, right? But like you can just actually randomly lose if they have this card. That just seems really absurd to me to, to print cards like this. Not a fan. I mean, the card is very good, but it's, it's just not a good solution to the problem. Toothy Chest, at the start of your turn, set this minion's attack to 4. It's a 3 minute zero four. 4. Uh, yeah, I think this is good. I think it's fine, and I think it'll go off enough, especially early. Um, but it's too, a little bit too unreliable. I'm going to say 3, because if you are behind, it's terrible. But I think a lot of the time, you can actually like coin this out, and it'll be a 4-4, four, four, right? So I'm going to say it's a 3 for those reasons. But yeah. Sneaky Devil. Stealth. Your other minions have plus one attack. Four mana, two, two. Raid Leader. So for one more mana, a Raid Leader gets stealth. Would I play this card? Hmm. I think I would play this card. It's just um, a bit better than Raid Leader is. I think it will be a lot stronger on Shaman and Paladin than on other classes. I'm going to go ahead and give this a three. And I will actually give this a 2 on Paladin and Shaman. I think that's pretty fair. Sleepy Dragon, 4 12 taunt. Holy crap, that's a big dragon. Um, yeah, this is just good, right? Like, what? <laughs> it's a taunt? <laughs> what? My head. Um, that's good, right? That's insane. Am I, what? This is a... I think it's a 1.5. It is very close to being amazing. It's just really, really good. 12 health, 4 mana taunt, like what? I think it's insane. It's a taunt, so 1.5, yeah. Boisterous Bard, 3 mana, 3, 2, give your other minions plus 1 health. That's insane! This is insane! Uh, this might be a 1. Give your other minions plus 1 health. Yeah, in Arena, I think this is a 1. A 3 mana, 3, 2 is already fine. And giving your minions any sort of a free trade is absurd. I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I think people are really underrating cards that give your other creatures health because it's not an apparent trade on the board. So you're often getting a free trade. And I'm, I'm going to give this a one. Final answer. Violent Worm. Death Rattle summons seven one one grubs. This seems insane. Uh, I'm going to give this a one. It's definitely slow, but like the upside is absurd, right? Like it's an eight minus seven seven, so you can't really ignore it. 
And then the seven one one grubs, you just like holy crap. I don't know. This seems this seems really really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a one for arena. Like that's just crazy. Gravel snout snout knight. Battle cry. Summon a random one cost minion for your opponent. <laughs> I don't like this card. Jesus. Okay. It should be good, right? What's the strongest one drop? This the hive queen. The zero one. The zero two ton. It's probably still gonna be at least a three. It's probably still at least a three. Cause the upside is just a bit too good. Fungal Mancer. Give adjacent minions plus two plus two. Six six for two! I'm sorry, six six for five. I think that this is a 1.5. I really, maybe I am overvaluing these like buff cards, but I think that I think they're gonna be insane. I, I think people really underestimate what like battle cry buffs do. So for that reason, I'm gonna give it a 1.5. I think this is actually insane. It's a 6-6 six, six for 5, right? Granted you have two minions. However, it's like a battle cry that can attack because you have minions that can attack. I still think it's going to be a 1.5. Curse Disciple. Uh, Death Rattle, summon a 5-1 Revenant. So 4 minute 5-1 Divine Shield, pretty much. It's pretty close to being a Divine Shield, right? 5-1 Divine Shield. I think a 3? I think a 3 is fine. Why is it better than a Divine Shield? Oh, as destroy effects are weaker. Okay. I still think it's a 3. I don't think it's a 2. I think the 1, one health is kind of just bad. But yeah, maybe I'm wrong on this one. I'm gonna say three. Shroom Brewer, restore four health. Four mana for four. That's quite good. Yeah, this is a 2.5. The stats are average, but the battle cry is quite good. So yeah, 2.5. Trog Gloom Eater, Taunt Poisonous. Five, H, five HP. Uh, I think this is quite good, right? Because like anything with four attack, it eats and it still has that one one body. So uh, I'll say this is a two. Should be good. Kobold Apprentice, Battle Cry, deal 3 damage randomly split among all enemies. All enemies? 3 mana 2 1, deal 3 damage. This seems quite good. I would say that this is a. I want to say this is a 2. 2 1, deal 3 is quite a bit. Granted, it is random, but I still think it should be good. Yeah, it's a 2 1 in Arcane Missiles. That seems pretty good. Seems pretty worth it. So. I, I actually think it's going to be a 2. This is Arena, so anything like this is actually pretty huge. Kobold Monk, your hero can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. It's a 4 and a 3, 6, so it's already good, what? Uh, yeah, uh, 2? This seems good, right? The, like, it has an upside and it's a 4 and a 3, 6. Stats are good, 2. Fungal Enchanter, restore 2 health to all friendly characters. So like it's like earthen but just better and it heals yourself. This is a 1.5. It's just be better earthen, right? Shrieking Shroom. At the end of your turn, summon a random one cost minion. At the end of your turn. Still seems too weak to me. One, two, two, one. <sighs> seems bad. I mean, you could play it behind a taunt, I guess. Maybe like a I, I think the problem with me is I, I, I think I undervalue cards in the past that it's like at the end of your turn, right? Like at the end of your turn cards are pretty nuts because they do have that potential to snowball. So I will put this at a 2, even though I want to put it at a 3. But because it should at least, sum like it has the potential of, of like forever summoning, I'm going to put it at a 2. Yeah, at the end of your turn, like I, I, I need to like rate these much higher because you can't always deal with things. It doesn't thin out your one drops, it doesn't recruit it, it's summon a random one, dude. Anyway. Plated Beetle. 2 mana 2 3, Death Rattle gain 3 armor. Uh, it's just good, right? It's 2 mana 2 3, which is average, and then Death Rattle is an upside, and it's a B, so it's a, it's a 2.5? 2.5, because like, the Death Rattle shouldn't matter too much, but yeah, it's upside. 2.5. Better croc. Master Oakheart. Uh, recruit a 1, 2, and 3 attack minion. Um, super good. Super, super good, right? Just seems insane, actually. <laughs> yeah, I would say this is a 1. Don't you just win the game if you play this? Yeah, I, I would say this is a 1. Seems nuts. 
Uh, the darkness starts dormant. Shovel three candles into the enemy deck. When drawn, this awakens. Uh, bad? You can't, like, silence this, right? Dormant means, like, it'll be, like, um... It will be, like, the... The seed, right? Like, the... Um, what is that 4 mana 5-3 called? But it should be a lot like that card, right? So yeah, I think it'll be quite bad. 4.5? Cause you can't like play it and then sh Yeah. So yeah, 4.5. I, I think it's too slow. It just seems really bad. Potion of Heroism. Give a minion divine shield and draw a card. Oh, uh, this paladin card? Super, super, super good. Wow. It's a 1. Like, free trade and then you draw a card? Like, what? That's insane. This is a 1. Easiest one of my life. This might this might be one of the best cards. Level up. Give your silver hand recruits plus two plus two. <laughs> so if this buffs at least two, it's worth it. And there's a bunch of things that create silver hand recruits, correct? So I would say this is a two. I'd say this is a two. Psionic probe. One mana. Copy a spell in your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. This is very good. You get more information and you get a card. This seems like a 2. I mean, obviously it depends on what you get, but like, yeah. A 2 seems very, uh, reasonable. XD when you draw Invent and Poison or something. But yeah. Lesser Diamond Spellstone Resurrect two different friendly minions. Is it 2, 3, 4? For... Cast 4 spells to upgrade. But actually Priests have a lot of spells. Resurrect 3... Yeah. Uh, it seems too slow, right? 7 mana res 2 for Arena seems a little bit too slow. Uh, I'd say that this is a three. I don't- this is like one of the, my least favorite ones. Dire Mole. A woman, a one, three. <laughs> uh, it's a three. Maybe a- maybe a 2.5? I guess a three is like a one, two. Two, one. Would I rather have a one, three for two, one? There's not that many three twos. It feels like because there aren't three twos, this one, three becomes better. So I will put this at a... I'll put this at a 2. Because I, I haven't seen them really introduce 3 twos. Put this at a 2. Twilight Acolyte. Battle Cry. If you're holding a dragon, swap this minion's attack with another minion's. <laughs> what the hell? I would say this is a 1. 1. 1.5, I guess, because it has a... If you're holding a minion. The stats are already fine, and the Battle Cry is absurd. So, like, 1.5 is good. Gilded Gargoyle. Add a coin to your hand. 3 minute 2-2. Two, two. No, I don't like this card. It's a 4? This seems like a 4. Uh, it doesn't seem that good to me. I guess the coin is a spell. No, it's still a 4. <laughs> Just no. Cavern Shiny Finder. Draw a weapon from your deck. It's a 2 and a 3 1. That's quite good. It draws for you. Uh, it's a 3 1. Stats are fine. Um, it's a no It's a better novice that draws a draws like a specific card. So it's a Actually, isn't it just a 1.5? Or even a 1? You would play Novice Engineer, right? Correct? So Novice Engineer is pretty bad. But it's not terrible. It's like, fine. This is like a way better Novice Engineer. I'd say a 1.5. 1 HP, so is Novice Engineer, so is Loot Order. You're drawing the card, dude. 1.5. Crashing Hand. Deal 8 damage to a minion, overload 3. <laughs> uh, deal 8 damage to a minion. Deal 8 damage to a minion. Overload 3. 5 mana deal 8. 5 mana deal 8. Flame Lance. But for 2. Okay. I think it's a... I think it's a 2? I'll give it a 2. Healing Rain. Restore 12 health randomly split among all friendly characters. Huh. This seems quite good. Does it not? free trade and then you just heal everything up. This is probably a 2. You can just heal yourself too. Dark Pact. Destroy a friendly minion. Restore 8 health to your hero. Destroy a friendly minion. Restore 8 health to your hero. What? 1 mana. Destroy something. Heal 8. On Warlock? That's really good. That's 4 life taps. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a 2. <laughs> I think everything's a 2. Why is everything a 2? This seems super good. Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy, but like healing 8 is absurd. Hooked Reaver. If you have 15 or less health, gain 3-3 three, three and taunt. What? 
That's insane! That's a one, right? That has to be a one! Tell me that's a one! <laughs> oh my god! That has to be a one! Holy crap! Okay, that's a one to meet for me. 4 minus 7, 7 taunt. Cobalt Barbarian, at the start of your turn, attack a random enemy. So it uses the, the attack, right? So wait, wait, does it attack and then it counts for your attack that turn? Oh, so it counts. Uh, still should be good. 3 minute 4 4 is still pretty good. It's gonna be pretty rage worthy, but 3 minute 4 4 is still a 3 minute 4 4. So, I'm gonna go ahead, like, think about Ogre Brute, right? Ogre Brute was pretty absurd. I'm gonna give it a 2.5. Um, yeah, 2.5. It's quite good. Like, it's, a, it's slightly worse than an Ogre Brute. Slightly. Gen Studded Golem. 6 mana 5 9 can only attack you with 5 or who cares it's a taunt in a 5 9 taunt wow this is absurd this is absurd what the hell this is a, this is a 1 <laughs> like what am i crazy it's a 1 is it not who cares if you can attack it's got taunt it's just what <laughs> oh my god i think it's a 1 dry whisker armor for each enemy minion gain 2 armor so yeah, this is absurd uh because there's so many things that uh you you want for armor and it's a two minute two two so the stats are good. This is a two. This is a two for me. Quite good. Woe cleaver, it's a warrior weapon after your hero attacks recruit a minion. Seems fine. I think people are undervaluing what recruit does. So yeah, I think this is actually a two. I think it's gonna be quite good too. Kobold Illusionist. Summon a 1-1 one -one copy of a minion from your hand. 4 mana 3-3 three, three with a death roll that summons a 1-1 one -one copy of your hand. Uh, this seems bad, right? It's a 4 mana 3-3 three, three death roll summon a 1-1. One -one. Uh, this seems like a 4. Corridor Creeper. Cost 1 less whenever a minion dies while this is in your hand. This is insane. What? This is a 1. This is an easy one. Whenever a minion, meaning yours or theirs, right? So it's both. So yeah, it's an easy one. Yeah, it's any minion, not friendly minion. Shimmering, oh yeah, we're done. Oh, we're done! Holy frick, there's so many cards. Jesus! All right, we got through all the cards. I think that I'm probably spot on for some of them and probably ridiculously off for others, but I will definitely do a review of my review in about maybe a month, maybe a month and a half, something like that. Once I have a good feel, once I've kind of played through Arena enough to to know, then I'll do a review of my review. And maybe, maybe if I do it in one month, I can do a review of a review, and then a review of my review of my review, or something like that. But regardless, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys.